Today on the channel, Discount of Palooza continues with the 60 years of X-Men, Storm, Forge, and Jubilee three pack. Only way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, Legends fans? The way I got it figured. Back with another Marvel Legends review. This time we're looking at the Pulse or Amazon fan channel exclusive X-Men three pack from last year. As you know, last year was the 60th anniversaries of the X-Men and the Avengers. Came out the same month, even, in 1963. And, you know, unfortunately, some of us have to make choices. Wasn't able to get these when they were um, new, but good old Ollie's came through and got one of the three packs. And even getting this one for this price will motivate me to pay whatever to get the other three to finish the set. Um, and of course we have Xavier coming on a retro card like with Wolverine. So the X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 275, issue 275 set, uh, team roster will be completed and will be on the channel at some point. But for now, we've got this one. And we've got Storm, Forge, and Jubilee. And we're going to check them out. So here's your package. The front, of course. Pretty, pretty self-descriptive of what's in here. And the blued out cover to Uncanny X-Men number 275 back in the day. On the back, you got renders show all the extra pieces that they come with and of course they're all wearing the training suits which is 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 the biggest draw for me you know i like when they had the unified x-men look even though it was only for an arc it was a pretty cool thing to see got quite a few parts here storm comes with extra hands so she comes with two sets of extra hands Forge, of course, has his weird-looking gun, fists, and Jubilee has um, an extra head, glasses, and extra hands, and an energy effect. Well, I guess two energy effects, right? So that's pretty cool. I guess she's got the bubblegum blowing head there. Pretty cool. I probably think the other set is a little more interesting overall but i do think that the lineup that they chose it, it kind of makes sense right although i could have seen maybe storm forge and gambit all to relate to gambit i mean to relate to storm but you know you got to mix these things up to make sure they sell so i get it of course on the top you've got the 60 years of x-men logo and your crap stuff on the bottom still in the age of paperless uh you know of uh windowless packaging and that is your package so let's get these guys out and see what we got Okay, so we've got our three X-Men out of the package with all their accessories. And like many Marvel Legends figures, they do have a few balance issues uh, to work out, particularly Forge. But, you know, a little bit of heat will fix that. Um, just for the video, we're going to roll with them like they are. And like I said, they do come with a substantial amount of accessories. So, going from left to right, just like the pack start with Storm and her hands. So you've got your lightning hands and your fisted hands. 
They got Forge and his weird gun that I'm sure they've used before. It just looks weird. Uh, you know, and, and it should. You know, he invents things. Who knows what this gun's supposed to do? Certainly don't think of anything special in the comic. But Fisted Hands Forge. And then Jubilee, who, who really seems like the bell of the ball when it comes to the accessories in this in this set. Two sets of hands. Your energy effects to go on her, her arms. Make sure I show it good there. Your sunglasses. And then the alternate portrait with her chewing the bubble gum. And I know it doesn't come out on, you know, it doesn't come out, it, it, it's in there, it's not a, an extra piece, so I don't wanna mess with it too much. Um, but there you go. Give you some display options for Jubilee. So once again, starting from left to right on the figures, we've got Storm and you know, these outfits, of course, are the generic uh, team training exercise outfits. Sort of like what the New Mutants had. And Storm is looking, you know, decent. For whatever reason, they don't want to give her the more buxom body. They always want to kind of give her the skinny body. Uh, but she had just come back to being an adult um, after going through the Siege Perilous. And this one, aside from the short hair, of course, has her eyes in power mode. So it's sort of like the lightning bolt should be in her hand because, you know, she should be using the lightning bolts because her she's using actively using her powers. Of course, she could also be flying. So there's that. Then you got Forge. And Forge is wearing his basic X-Men suit, except his cybernetic leg is uncovered. Even though I don't see why that's really necessary. You could just wear the suit like anybody else. Just, just, just clothes. But it does, you know, set them apart. Give them a little bit of distinct stuff. And then he's got this harness, which he did have in the comic. But you could also use it for other guys. I'm pretty sure there's like an ultimate Captain America or something that came with this. Uh, but it's cool. And he's got the choker chain thing on his neck this might be a separate piece i'm gonna pull his head off yes so you know they got the, the choker chain the choker the chokers on their outfits and it is a separate piece it is a nice touch for accuracy it, do, it makes it look like a turtleneck the way they kind of have it but you know it is accurate to how the outfit looked so that's, to me, the most important thing. And then, last but not least, we got Jubilee and her basic portrait. And I am highly tempted to um, use the bubblegum head. Maybe for the rest of the video, we'll do that. There you go, she's blowing some bubble gum. I definitely don't think it's supposed to come out. It looks a little weird from the side, but from the front it looks fine, I guess. And then you've got her sunglasses. I believe will go on either head Oof. the debate for me on the sunglasses would be or rather on the head which head to use is that you know if you have another jubilee with her classic outfit you don't have the bubblegum head for that. Maybe you want to use it for that. But here, we see she's got the glasses on. Looks like they're going to stay. We can pop her 
has the effect on at least one of her arms. Give her a little bit more of an action pose. She's going to bubble gum like that. And she's looking good. Let me take Forge. Give him his weird acme blaster. Kind of pose him. And if you're a long time viewer of the channel, you already know I have pet peeves about figures that don't stand. It annoys me. But, you know, this isn't necessarily a figure that won't stand. It's just the plastic is very tight. So there you go. Got your X-Men posed up, gone through, and now... We can bring in Wolverine, who already got reviewed on the channel. And we're using the angry head from, I believe, the Bone Breaker Wave, unmasked Bone Breaker Wave Wolverine, because it looked better than the one that they came with, in my opinion. So there you go, all your X-Men. Currently displayed together. So of course we got three more to go, really four more to go. We're like halfway there because of Xavier. But so far so good, they do look great. Um, I'm certainly glad to pay the $24.99 for these rather than the 50 bucks or 60 bucks or whatever it was. But uh, we still got we still got to get the rest of them. So good for now, but we're not done. So we're gonna move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on these sixty years of X Men, Storm, Forge, and Jubilee three pack. So you know these figures, we knew what we were getting with them. You know, if you like to complete rosters and everything, it's a kind of a must-have thing, if you're, especially if you're a big X-Men fan. And I mean, I am. I, we know my favorite team is the Avengers, but that doesn't mean I don't love the X-Men, too. Um, and, you know, back in the day, I was in the middle of a really long run of X-Men comics, and this is uh, one of the iconic things that occurred during that run by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. Uh, actually, this was Jim Lee's... Um, so I think second, third, and fourth issues because he had done one of the summer uh, issues that were twice a month that same year. And then he did an arc. So he did the arc of them with the training suits going to the Shi'ar galaxy and saving Xavier and his whole bit there. And then you went into X-Men number one right after this. So, you know, it's a big, it was a big time in comics, especially for the X-Men. And uh, a lot of times my Marvel Legends collecting are touch points of comic books that I've read. So, you know, it's, it's a must have thing for me. It's, you know, it's always gonna get them at some point. As a set, you know, I'm gonna give it a nine. Again, the figures aren't anything necessarily to write home about, but they're not bad either. They're all pinless. They're all updated. So, you know, they're pretty good figures. And it's a and it's a take on the X-Men that you're not going to get a, a ton of different times or whatever. Um, and if you're into, like, swapping characters and all that kind of stuff, you can put other heads on um, for characters where appropriate. It's going to be difficult with Forge because of how they set them up. But, you know. 
So I would say a nine. I would give this set as a whole a nine. I don't think any of the figures are necessarily any better than the other ones. I do like the extra stuff with Jubilee. I'll say that. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, we, of course, have more Marvel Legends coming. We have more Discounted Palooza Marvel Legends coming, I'd even say. And uh, we'll see you guys all on the next video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about these guys. Did you get them? Did you pass? Did you buy them when they came out? Did you get all six? Let's talk about it. Till next time. Everybody stay safe. See you on the next video. Peace. The way I got it figured.